time I was as a kid, I used to see this movie. And like again, I'd like to thank Many Master again for refreshing my memory of what the title of the movie was. I remember it, but I forgot the title. So, and if you don't know who Many Master is, go to his um, page and check him out. Um, he has a slew of ninja movies and ninja culture clips and of the headband ninja engineer back in the days. Anyway, um, to move forward, um, Ninja Tomato, well, it's pretty obvious, if you know, it's a splice movie, you can just tell how the movie's set up, so to me, Ninja Tomato is a splice movie, if it's not, let me know, but anyway, you got two sides, you see, I preview before my review, I did like, you know how you got a cassette, side A, side B, side A, like a side A of the first story and a side B of the second story, like, I call it Ninja Side and Kung Fu Side, you know, and there's a third side, I decided to add, called WTF side, what the fuck side, because every Splice movie always have like a weird scene in it, and of course you see the what the fuck side there is a weird scene in it, but Ninja Terminator is f blown out action, it's a good movie, the Kung Fu side of the story is about a guy trying to stop, stop a crime boss, you know, and the first side of the story is the ninja, you have three different ninjas, they got three different gold statues, and at the end of the fight, you see three ninjas going at it, like, a lot of shit, there was a sword clack in for the gold statue, and this payment act, and all that bullshit, but you gotta love the sword clack in, so pretty much that's what Ninja Terminator is, you know, simple as that, but it's a pretty good splice movie, and the robot is funny, the crap scene is funny, and like I said, it's for loads, it's loads of actions, it's funny, it's a good splice movie, I know that, Love them or hate them, they are good splice movies actually. But still, you rather see the original anyway. So if anyone know the original of that Kung Fu side of the story, let me know.